change your attitude. Because women have got there and they want to change mm. this, they want to change that. All the things that don't count. Bang, if you learn to, bang, same way how women can bang, go out there and learn to put makeup bang, on, learn to cook, bang, learn to wash by hand. Learn to please that, a man. That is so That's what girl. you need to That's do. That's a dating girl. <laughs> She's She's right. girl. That's outdated. <laughs> She's right. Did this, did this blockhead just say it's outdated to, to fucking change your attitude? Ugh. <sighs> I'm a whole different level. You won't see nobody like me for like 12 other years. Look, look, you see, they do all the time. Hey, we no, I'm different level. You crazy? No, no, you can't even coach right? my type of style. They style is regular. I gave him crazy work. Listen. Crazy work. <laughs> crazy work. Crazy. And then look. And the dudes you kept getting all this love to, crazy work. <laughs> crazy <laughs> work. Don't <laughs> ever try me. So ever. Let me go. Let me go. This <laughs> sounds so easy. It's like some mad. Right, he's tripping. Hold on, let me Hold ask you a question. Quick. Check his drink. He's tripping. Why you up? Cause I got some important shit going on here. What do you think? Boom, the world class. <laughs> okay, so my first question is what is the number one problem facing men today and what is the number one problem facing women today? I can say something. Come on, ladies. Everybody's going to say, you know, me. The, <laughs> the, the number one problem. Ask all the questions. Come on, tell the me. The number one problem with men is that they don't tell women the truth and the number one problem with women is that they can't, they can't handle the truth. Simple. That, mm. that's, a good, that's a good paradigm to start from because it's actually very interesting you say that. A lot of women say, I just want a man who's honest. And then the second you're honest, she's like, what? You did exactly. what? It's like, well, then don't ask me for honesty. Of course I fucking lie. Thank you. So that's a good that's a good point. I agree. I agree with that. I think that's a good point. Um, uh, the, the number one. Uh, no, I, don't, I wouldn't say it would, it would be number one, but that is a functional issue. Where dudes keep lying to these chicks and these chicks just have this fear of what is called FOMO. Fear of missing out and. Um, on information and being the first and being the only and all that and they just want to know just the for that reason but you don't understand how heavy this shit is a lot of these women don't want to know everything um because y'all got them these little goofy things called feelings and that make y'all think of stuff that don't make sense so you don't really want to know everything but um irrespective of what women do I always tell men be honest be a man stand on your shit I don't know why you lying to this girl who's shorter than you that you could throw across the room if you wanted to I don't understand the concept of lying to females blows my mind I don't get it I won't lie to you I'll just crush your feelings or whatever and keep it pushing I'm not even fucking I'm not even shitting you I'll just crush your confidence like I ain't gonna sit there lie to you break your heart I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you I, it's just not gonna happen I don't have it in me so <clears throat> I, but I think the number one thing with men is uh, lack of eye lack of lack of wisdom men are not given wisdom because mothers and at least in this country want to keep their sons as some little uh fucking pet thing so she can keep they can find a way to have a way with a male where they usually can't and i think the number one issue with women is they don't have an identity most women in this country your identity is whatever's written on your receipt Man, I got a video coming up with that. We kind of talked about that in another live. Um, yeah, most of these women today, their their identity is based off what they can purchase and really not based off principle, um, which essentially is the same thing with, with men. Men are lacking wisdom. They, you know, we too invested into um, thrills and, and, and shit like that, adventure seeking and um, competition. Um, and I'm extremely competitive and I'm not adventurous, but I'm extremely competitive. So I fall in into that category. Um, I would just say that men just are not acting with wisdom. I don't have it available to them. And quite frankly, I'm not interested in seeking it. So that's what I'll say with regards to that. Uh, the women's issue is lack of or no identity. Our identity is you don't know what your identity is until they release a commercial to tell you what you want and you know hey 
Uh, Ellie says, I always prefer honesty over sweet lies. That's what's up. Hey, let's see that. That's a bang bang. Oh, my bad. Super, it's super low. Bang, 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 bang. with that one mm. that, i don't think it's the biggest problem but it certainly is a problem That's in so cool. relationships today that is a problem the biggest problem with men today is that i think the world is becoming hyper competitive most men are not aware and understanding of how quickly there's going to be a genuine shift in between those who have things and those who do not have things not just finances but also female status everything else and it's a status game right and it's becoming harder and harder for men to play <coughs> and that's all women's fault of course <laughs> because no but it's because women choose the winners right women choose who the high status males are so women pretend to give a shit about men of course they don't uh, okay so i'm gonna disagree with him on the direction he's taking uh, i know he's being facetious with the women fault but he do got a point um that's fucking hypergamy shit but I, like i said before, previously i don't think it's because of the back end talking about who women choose at the finish line i think it's the front end on how these mothers are behaving from the beginning to debilitate your sons, to have, um, to turn him into a yes man, for him to be a compensation for all the men that told you no. And then y'all, y'all be cl including the nigga that <laughs> you seen that you said he should have said something to me like it, them false no's that ain't even real no's, the celebrity telling you no because he won't just find his way to you and come through your house and make you spaghetti and love you up and shit like that. <clears throat> um, so I think it's the front end. I don't think it's the back end. They, they give a shit about themselves and and and, and, a, and, a, and a woman oh and a woman when she, and a woman a woman if you ask her what she wants from a man she's like i don't want much i just want to find a nice man who's a millionaire and six foot tall and funny and charismatic and interesting and spontaneous and looks right. after me and doesn't cheat and and is funny and good looking and strong i don't want much like they, they name all this shit that most dudes are never going to have That's a fact. and it's becoming harder and harder and you end up with people Top bang, genes who own everything bang, on the planet they bang, could ever possibly bang, wish for. And then you've got other guys bang, who have nothing. And you're, there's this large divide. There's no longer any middle ground. You have dudes who can't get any pussy. And then you've got dudes who are just blocking girls left, right, and center. And that's what the problem with being a man is today. What about the women? Well, I would say... I'll tell you, I'll tell you, well, I'll everybody's I'll got a chance to talk. I'm going to shut up and have my Clementine. No, I want to know. I want to know. I want to learn from you, sir. You want to learn from me? Well, yes, I wanna, well, I wanted to answer. I feel like it goes for both. It's not just one or the other. I feel like it's self-accountability. Definitely. Mm. Women are not accountable for themselves. I agree with you there. Why 100%. just women, though? What it's about both. Men? It's yeah, both. Yeah, because everybody's both. both. It is both. You're right, but. You know what? You know what? You know what burns my gears. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, in my city, Baltimore, right, we are often, because blue crabs are, like, pretty famous, we're often referred to as the crab in the barrel mentality. But black, but these fucking females, like their, their fucking reflex is to make sure somebody is going down with them. But what about this? But what about that? And what about this? But it will be the same one and wants you to take accountability when it comes to her getting her stuff. No, I'm not taking accountability. But what about everybody else? Every time they, that's what niggas need to start doing. Just give them back what they put, what they give to you. Whatever they start talking about, just give that shit right back. But what about the, the stars across the galaxy? Well, what about the prices of the Twix in France? Like, just start saying random goofy shit. Because this shit just irritates me. Go down by yourself. You did the crime, do the time. You did it by yourself. You made a decision for yourself. And rock out. Like, I don't understand. Admit, it's weird. Golly, everything is, well, what about the man? What about the man? The nigga just got finished talking about the guys. Oh, God. And she asked him about the uh, the women. Educate her. And she talked about the damn nigga. Ugh. Irritating. Society punishes men for not being self-accountable. But society does not punish women for not being self-accountable. I'll give you an example. If you're a man but. and you're arrogant and you think you're something when you're not, trust me, society will teach you very quickly that you don't matter when you don't get laid and you stay a fucking brokey. If you're a chick and think you're something when you're not, you can run around with your ego, still get dates, still get laid, still have a fairly sensible social life. <laughs> society as a whole doesn't come along and slap you in the face with realizations. If you're a man and you think you're something you're not, it is a ticking time bomb until society teaches you a lesson. That's, That's the, the difference. This is why men in general are more self-accountable because the men who are not self-accountable get fucked up. So those who are successful 
are very self-accountable people. They look at themselves and go, okay, the only way I'm going to get and progress further, the reason she left me, the only way I'm going to do better, make more money, et cetera, et cetera, is I have to change. Most women don't want to do that. They don't sit and think, I have to change. They think, oh, he left me because it's him, and right. I lost my job because my boss, and this is this because of this. They, no, you women don't look in the mirror and change a fucking thing. Ever. Don't, th no, because Ever. don't forget. Talk your shit. Talk your shit, nigga. I knew, he was a, I knew he was a nigga. Bang, 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 bang. Mr. He said in the building, what's up, bro? You can hit the link if you want, if you got time. Just reviewing this. I know this is old. I just never got to got, get to it because, you know, niggas wanted to smoke. So I had to be a fire demon for like three weeks. Um, I don't know if that worked out for you guys or not. It worked out for me. What you're forgetting right nowadays, they can't change it because it's all about body positivity. Are you saying? Make her look sexy at a size 28. Are you saying Lizzo's not a 10? <laughs> Are you guys trying to get me cancelled? <laughs> See, I'm not going to lie. I don't bang, agree with what you bang, just said because 90% of cosmetic bang. surgery is by women. Women are trying to change as much as possible. Men don't want to change. They're not accountable oh, no. for themselves. Like, they when... think that because because they're a man, you're going to be attracted to them. No. Like, you, can, you can't be fat. You stay at home. You're just playing video games, and you expect a woman to want to fuck you. No, she's not going to want to fuck you. Yeah, but then she won't. This is the point. And, 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 and then she won't, and society will teach them a lesson. They might be able to pull off a little blag with a girl for a year or so, but in general, they're going to end up lonely. In general, they're gonna... You know what was dumb about what she just said? She said that a man, men don't want to change because we don't take the same avenue of change as women do. Hmm. That was her reason. Because we're not getting plastic surgery. We don't want to change. Cosmetic surgery. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I had, to, I had to let my brain process that a little bit. And struggle to find partners. I agree with you with the, with the cosmetic surgery exactly. thing. Women are happy to change how their appearance and change how they look, but they're not happy to change how they act. They, Most of them, they're not yes, happy they to change. Are. No, they're That's not. A fact. Bang, the men are changing bang, what the men bang, don't care about. Bang, bang, That's a bang, fact. Bang, it's a fucking bang. absolute. That's, listen, you ain't never lost. The girl ain't make none of that made any sense. But she's still defending it. Bro. But they'll say, right, get your passports, get your passports. Uh, That's over here. This thing in the right, she over there. They. That's another place. That's not America. She's not from here. They in London, if I'm not mistaken. Get your, go ahead. Get your passport. Go over there with that. You know how stupid you going to look to travel 3,000 miles for the same shit? You're just stupid. Men don't care about the big old lips. Yes, they do. And the, no, they do it. The women are doing that for themselves. That's yeah. a, because the men don't care about it. That. The men would rather bang, a woman change bang, her stinking bang, attitude bang, bang. than put on all that makeup and hair and everything. That's what the men want. Dumb but the women the go out there like, oh, I'm going to... Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. That's a, that's a fact. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. If you look at a man and the man said, yeah, he's fat. The man will most, if he's feeling bad about himself, he wants to make something, he'll go and hit the gym. What's the woman going to do? Go and do Get a BBL, get her lips done, put on her makeup, put bang, on her hair, and bang, stay the big bang, old fat person bang, that she is and say, bang, oh, it's body positivity. The men don't even want that. And uh, that's, the bang, women are not getting bang, all this cosmetic bang, surgery bang, for the men. They're right. getting it for themselves. Right. You can't turn around. What man bang, wants a woman bang, that's going to turn around, go and have an operation, and can't sit on a plane because her ass has been... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. golly, lady. You just... Just, just rapid fire. I mean, golly. She dies. She dies. Wasn't she preaching? Golly. Injected or being interfered with. She got to lie there on her stomach. You think the men want that? Or wake mm -hmm. up in the morning before you got to hit the house. She's got to put on. Yeah. I'm sure I worried about some of the men because they must go out bang, with a woman. Bang, Ooh, and then bang, when they wake up bang, in the morning, they think, bang, who the hell bang. is she? The scars, By the time you take fish. everything off, women need to change their attitudes before they change their makeup. Bang, I'm sure that if, bang, even more bang, than that, change bang, your attitude. Bang. Because women have got there and they want to change this, they want to change that. All the things that don't count. Bang, if you learn to, the bang, same way how women can go bang, out there and learn to put makeup bang, on, learn to cook. Bang, learn to wash by hand. Learn to please a man. That is so That's bang, what you need to do. That's bang, bang, girl. Bang. She's that girl. That's outdated. She's right. Did this, did this blockhead just say it's outdated to, 
to fucking change your attitude? Uh, F.A. says, uh, females <laughs> definitely get plastic surgery for each other nowadays. That's a fact. Men been saying for years they like natural women, yet they still get BBLs. That's a fact. I like the natural stuff. I don't like the, I don't care about the BBL. That shit weird. Look like a tranny to me. So if you look like a tranny and, I'm not, and I don't like trannies, then I'm not going to like you. I'll just say that just to get some head or something. And then I don't know what to tell you. After I get the head, I don't need you no more. Um, I just, that's, 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 um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not Derek Jackson. I'm not about to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the real shit. I'm your big cousin and big brother that you ain't have. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's real out here. La mama. Woohoo! I'm saying it's like you're, we had literally just talked about this off camera when we, when you guys came here from the airport, when we were talking about, oh, what are, what's the value system or the point system for a woman who cooks versus a, a woman who can suck good dick and fuck well. But you can like, cook and suck dick as well. No, but, but, I'm, but I'm saying is, is that Pearl, if you can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, quoting her was that in, when she interviewed people on the street, that there was more points given to something for, like a sexual return as opposed to, oh, wash dishes by hand uh, or the dishwasher. No, Why I mean, cook? We can eat out. There's a chef. The people don't get, they don't give a fuck you, about that. That's what they think. But, no, yeah. that's what, but we and literally just. But why are you dying on that hill? Why, why, are you, you, why are you using all the energy for that versus all the other shit she said? Like, you got that energy for fucking dishwashing, like, uh, the dishwasher shit, but not the attitude part, while actually using the attitude that she was just talking about as a fucking... Okay. I don't like her. I don't like her. I just don't like it. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. I want to push her in some fucking camel piss. Talked about this yesterday. No, no, it was okay. I did a street interview and I asked the guys, "Would you rather have a girl that gave good head or a good cook?" And most guys they want this. Uh, but I think that's for more, the I quick think, but satisfaction. I think, but I think that's more for like a one night stand. But, but what I'm trying to say term. is that if you mm -hmm. all the women out there and they're talking about, well, some of the women want to be settled down. They want a man, right? And you got to think what the man wants. The man, the man ain't interested in that. Look at when you when you're doing street interviews, you're interviewing single people. Look at the people there that are happily married and ask them what they do. Because all the things right. that the women out there are doing, you can... That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. It should be street interviews that's coming up to couples. Well, I mean, I, I've seen it. I've seen couples be pulled up on. Like that one nigga with the swap phone thing. I don't, even, I don't think none of that real. Because why would you do that just because somebody with a camera asked you? Like, if you was going to do that, you could have did it by yourself. But yeah, they should um pulling up the couples and ask them what they want to do versus like single people who basically are free for the evening. You know what I'm saying? Versus real single people who don't have time to date. When I say real, I mean the people that actually qualify for a decent conversation and usually at work real good or helping out the family member or helping their child or something like that. You can be a housewife, you can be going out, you can suck head just as good as any old tramp on the street. And keep your man and have a man. And yeah, I well, can say that because I'm 32 years in counting. Auntie, you can't say Wait, attraction is not I important. Talk to your mind. Talk to your mind. You can't say attraction is not important, though. It is initially, important. Well, you initially. Get, no, initially, exactly. You, mm. a, a man is not, not going to find you attractive and then think, oh, because you, you, you can cook well. It's got a chef. A man's going to find you attractive. I think because people think because you can say something. Did that make it matter? But that, just because you can say something don't mean that it makes sense. Like, you just saying shit, just to be saying shit. You could get, you could, you could do a lot. You could, you could fly a missile if you wanted to. Like, you could, you could moonwalk into the, uh, into the bank and break the glass. Like, why, what does could mean? It doesn't have anything to do with Earth. Like, oh, you could get a cook. Who the fuck has a cook? Who has that? Are they the type of cook that's gonna sleep in your like shut up? What's that shit that's retarded? Sleepy ass lady. If and he's okay, gonna, let's let's ask Andrew. He's gonna okay. he, 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 be fourteen pounds of weave in your ass, man. Dumb shit. With a girl, that's five out of ten. Be I'm so close to roasting this lady. Why why where her man showed it? Oh never mind. Just... Because she can cook. <laughs> that ain't what I said. Well, firstly, that's not what she said, to be fair. And to secondly, I'd be with a 10 out of 10 who can cook because I'm top G. But <laughs> to make the point, I think what you have to understand is 
what men are looking for in a relationship. So you did the the street interview, and you're mm-hmm. asking single people, probably young people, probably idiots who know they're on camera talking shit about good head, all this garbage. It's bullshit. What men are interested in, in life, not just in their relationship, but in their life as a whole, is status. I don't think most people understand, especially women, how competitive the male world is and how competitive it is for status. This is why men do everything they do. Men buy the faster car, not to drive any faster, because of status. It's why we want a bigger house. We don't give a shit where we live. It's because of status. It's why I want to go to the gym and get big and strong. But- Oh, yeah, I've seen this clip before. Because of status. Everything we do is about status. That's why I want the better jobs, why I want more money, that's why I want to be respected. So what's the number one thing we want our female to give us? Status. That's what All right, see, so this is, I just like stuff to be exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, I got like, uh, I like OCD when it comes to principles and accuracy, I guess. I don't know how y'all got it with y'all outfit and food and decorations in a house and a ranch is just what's it what is it called who swap flash ways some shit like that y'all will correct me in the chat i don't know um so what it is right so he's talking about status in 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 history most men like men have men's goal have has always been immortality to be remembered for all time so status is kind of like a step up to be able to live a life worth remembering your name being a history books for something uh, of substance, um, you know, or or treachery, depending on what your mindset is. So I just don't like when people get close, but don't they don't go the whole way. Um, so I get what he's saying, and it's not that it's wrong. It's just not. I can't. It got to just be the thing that it is. So it's immortality to live a life worth remembering, so you don't die twice. Um, that's why it's also great to be a part of a culture and a nation or empire or kingdom um, where you will be recorded being in that nation being able to participate and essentially be a part of immortality so so he's he's right men are doing things to be able to uh, make a name for themselves or maintain a name that's already been made for them we want so she can give us status by being beautiful that's one thing she can do Mm. but another thing she could do is if i turn up home and i come home with my boys and she says i'll cook you all a steak Mm. That's status. Mm. That's all my boys going, Ross, you've just been out all night, and she's here, and she's going to cook for all of us, and she'll clean up and tidy up. Boom. That's the kind of girl a man's not going to want to lose because it makes him look good. That- that's a... That's a... Bang, 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 bang. Dom the Monko, Monko, Monko. Dom the Monko, Monko, Monko. Shit like that. 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 Be with the world class. You are watching a master at work. I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. I literally couldn't agree more. That's the, especially in 2023, if you got a woman that's a human, that's considerate to her man, he's been home, you know, she's been home out of this fucking rigor remote, rigor remote, whatever, however the fuck they say that. Out of this bullshit, your home, your husband has came home, friends, I can just cook, I clean it up. You go out there, you kill a lion, you bring it back, type of shit. Um, to have a woman that's not taking being human as an offense, it doesn't make any sense. Because it's how you know these chicks are worthless. If a nigga, if a nigga worked his whole life, or a male worked his whole day, and he's the type of guy that's gonna just cook and clean, She's not going to celebrate him cooking and cleaning to the degree in which she would complain. She being a chick like Brittany Renner, right? They're not going to do that. They're not going to celebrate you doing it just as much as they would, what, complain about them doing it. So you just ill will. You don't like human. A lot of these, y'all be having these wrong conversations saying that these chicks are masculine. They're not masculine. They're just not fucking human. (laughs) They're not even human. They don't want to do human shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what men want. Status. Suck a dick, blah, blah, blah. Listen, dick can only be sucked in so many ways. I, I mean, who can, <laughs> no, and no, no, let's be serious about this. Have this you is, had the Gok Gok 3000? No no, 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 this is actually a serious point, right? This is a very serious point because the Western world has collapsed in real time and it's a failed society. And one of the reasons it's a failed society is because of the over-sexualization, especially of females as a whole. If a woman comes up to me and goes, I'll be the best sex you ever had, I am fucking revolted. I don't <laughs> want the best sex I've ever had. I want you to be pure and a virgin. You shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, that's, this, you don't, I've been told that a lot. This face, I've gotten that, those words a lot. So I don't, you don't want to say that to me because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't, nah, 
I, I, it's a good chance you don't compare. Like if you're not a sex worker, <laughs> you don't, not with my past. You don't want to deal with that. That's you gonna you gonna hurt yourself. Uh, you gonna pull something. You gonna pull something. I ain't gonna sit there hold you. You gonna pull something trying to do that. <clears throat> so don't I don't really care about that. I like the wholesome. I'm gonna use the, the phrase you know the manager low body count. <laughs> I've never sit there and asked a female how many what's her body count, but I yeah, I don't yeah. If I went to one the, the girl that had two niggas, I was like well, one. I'm not gonna sit there and lie to you, but I'm not gonna ask you the body count. It just is what it is. You'll tell me eventually. <clears throat> you know what's crazy? They do actually tell you on their own. I don't know why people be so confused about that. Yeah, I don't need the best sex ever. I need a you know what I what I, I listen, I'm making this public because I want niggas to have the same value system. The thing I'm attracted to the most is obedience, silence. That's the sexiest shit in the world to me. An obedient woman and a silent one. Keep your mouth shut. That's what's sexy to me. I see titties and ass all day. I fucking Facebook. I think both of them, both my Facebook accounts look like porn hubs and that motherfucker. I ain't been sending enough titties and, and vagina and all of that. I'm good. I need something that's fucking rare, that only like 1% of y'all got, and that's obedience. So when I say obedience, it's not just doing what I say, you're going to do that anyway. It's, are you obedient to your principles, to the God you come from, the family you come from, uh, you know, being, be it that, your family is honorable. What type of obedience, you keep your word, like you saying earlier, your word is your bond, that type of thing. Silence. Being able to first first thing I'm saying with silence is not just you shutting the fuck up, it's you being able to keep our private information the fuck to yourself. That's what's attractive to me. Next to nobody, next to none of these females can do those two things. So that's what's attractive to me. So yeah, you know, the titties and ass is gonna come. I can go to Instagram right now, see titties and ass. I don't need that. I leave the house right now, hit one of these stores, find titties and ass. It's everywhere, it's a plentiful. I don't got on. Older men are not on that bullshit. I know what sex is. Cook my fucking dinner. Shut up. Don't, hey. talk, don't come and talk like, to see? me about fucking sucking dick. It's vile. You, it's disgusting. You see? Shut up. I want silence. Peace. I don't want to hear that shit. Can I say something? I don't want to hear that. Facts, Brown Album. No one, no one when to shut up is a huge skill in life. It is very. This is. I, you know what? You know what, Brownie? No one when to shut up is a huge life skill, right? That is really, I think, the best example of less is more. I think, I think that's one of the best. We always try to, I, I, even myself, I be trying to find places to fit it. I think that's the best fit for it. Less is more. Like they say, you got two ears, one mouth. Use them proportionately. <laughs> what what I want is a woman who makes me look good. No woman who's running around talking about sucking dick can make me look good. So I lose interest completely and utterly, and that's the and truth. Yeah. So what? she's saying is completely correct these are old bang, school things but it's bang, not about the bang, act yes you can bang. order food of course it's about the status that comes with it that's what it's about and you know what know what too let me expand on that in terms of the the, 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 the quiet or the silent thing is you have two ears one mouth using proportionately why don't you pick things to say that's impactful be impactful with your words so when you go to speak it means more to the people that are listening to you. And women just just talking so much about nothing. And you don't savor your words, so nobody else does. They don't taste good to other people because I'll eat this every day, all day. I don't need to eat this no more. It's not a delicacy. Your words are not a delicacy. They're not, they're not a main course. It's, your, your words are the background noise. Because you're just always putting it out. You're, you, you're like, women's mouths is like the Federal Reserve if it just perpetually just produce more money. Like, above average. Like, if it just continue to make money, it would lower the value. And I don't understand why women don't understand that. But like I said before, the two biggest problems with men and women, I said about men, women, is they don't have an identity. So, to compensate for the lack of identity, when you don't have an identity, you're afraid. Because you don't know what you are and how you relate to everything uh, in your environment. So you're literally always afraid. So when you run in your mouth, you feel like you're in control. So I understand totally why I do that. 
No, yeah, no, literally, <laughs> literally like the Federal Reserve. Yes, literally like the Federal Reserve. Like you are just the more you keep doing you, the the more you lower you down your property. Like stop talking. It's the number one spiritual thing you can do in life. See, I thought it was just an asshole, right? You just I think it's just an asshole. I'll tell you the number one spiritual thing or any woman can do is shut the fuck up. It's just stop talking. Because the same thing that created all things also created being polite. So it's not gonna talk while you're talking. Shut up. Stop talking. Value your words and learn how to speak and with 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 precision and intention. So no, when you and you speak with that level of accuracy, people are not gonna want to miss when you speak. I don't want to miss nothing she's saying because she gives accurate information when she opens her mouth. Now I care. So you don't put care in your words. Now women, they say, blah, 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 blah. I just won't get my turn to get my shit off like these niggas do on the panels. Niggas just won't get their shit off. But you're drowning out the environment with mundane, irrelevant, discardable information that all we always we've already seen. You know what I'm saying? But if you actually put more care into what you're saying and why you're saying it, then people will as soon as I hear your voice, okay, let me shut up. Let me see what's going on. Okay. Okay, yeah, I heard her say that. But yeah, you know what? I'm glad she said it again because that remind me. I care about when you speak. When you say something, because there's value behind it, not just blurting. So this is the part of why that's the number two sexiest thing to me in a woman. The most attractive thing you know, out of the two most attractive things to me in a woman is, is silence. Because that's showing a high level of self-control. It's actually obedience as well. But obedience is amazing. It's past teachability. It's past coachability. Being obedient, having... But you to be obedient, you got to have identity you gotta have self-respect you can't have any self-respect if you don't know who you are and you don't know where you are where you are and why you who you are so there's a lot to go on identity i think women that's a woman's biggest problem uh, and i'll say it again they all they are is whatever is written on the receipt you just some over over the counter transactions so um yeah all right <laughs> i'm sorry i got lost in a train of thought of just all that goodness i just heard Washed. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean. <laughs> you know, like something happened. What the fuck? like you we did this because we are you being the world class